Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our session on predictive analytics. This course will include genetic algorithms, random forest, and bio-inspired computing. Some information about the session is now given. Businesses often require efficient solution to optimization problems, which are computationally expensive. When conventional optimization techniques are difficult to employ, biological inspired approaches provide better slash faster solutions. The focus of this session is going to be on the following. We will explore bio-inspired computing such as GAs, random forests, and detail the steps involved in these implementations. Simple algorithms can be built in code once these implementations have been understood. This will help businesses to solve some challenging optimization problems where application of bio-inspired computing helps increase efficiency. Now let us come to genetic algorithms. Genetic algorithms attempt to incorporate ideas of natural evolution into computer science and optimization. In general, genetic al algorithms work as follows. A population is created and its fitness is evaluated based on certain parameters and then genetic operators applied on these as can be seen in the figure. Mutation, crossover, reproduction are all examples of genetic operators which may or may not be applied. An initial population is created consisting of randomly generated rules. Each rule can be represented by a string of bits. Genetic algorithms are commonly used to generate high quality solutions to optimization and search problems by relying on biologically inspired operators such as mutation, crossover and selection. This is done because nature is one of the finest optimizers that we know which works in real time as well as efficiently and produces high fitness individuals in reality. A typical genetic algorithm requires genetic representation of the solution domain followed by a fitness function to evaluate the solution domain. Now let us come to the biological inspiration which was inherent in the development of genetic algorithms. Cells are the basic building blocks of all living things and they have existed since long times. Their evolution has been a major topic of research and it has been found that nature automatically makes them adapt to certain environments in which they can be very fit and reproduce very well. Therefore, a population is created in nature which then undergoes natural selection according to Darwinian theory and only the fittest individuals survive. In a similar manner, the biological inspiration for GAs can be understood where we uh, start with random solutions to our problem and then continue only with the fit ones. So now we come to the steps involved in genetic algorithms. Once the genetic representation and the fitness function are defined, a GA proceeds to initialize a population of solutions and then to improve it through repetitive application of mutation, crossover, inversion and selection which are all operators of in the genetic paradigm. Here is a flowchart which can guide you better in this process. We first go through initialization, then fitness assignment, then selection, then crossover and then mutation. We repeat this process unless the stopping criteria is met. Now let us come to the pseudocode of a general genetic algorithm. This pseudocode can be employed in various uh, coding paradigms using Python, R, C++, Java, etc. according to your needs. We first generate the initial population, then we compute the fitness, then we repeat until population has converged the following. Selection followed by crossover followed by mutation followed by again computation of fitness. Now let us look at these steps in details. First, we come to initialization. The initial population is generated randomly most of the time, allowing the entire range of possible solutions to be selected. Our first step would be defining our population. So our population will contain individuals each having their own set of chromosomes. 
one would mean that the following item is taken and zero meaning that the corresponding one is dropped as the genetic algorithm is a stochastic meaning random optimization method the genes of the individuals are usually initialized at random let us take an example consider a predictive model represented by a neural network with six possible features if we generate a population of four individuals then we will have four different neural networks with random features the next figures illust illustrate this population here the chromosome represented by 101011 means that we have selected the features 1 3 5 and 6 therefore the neural network has only four inputs x1 x3 x5 and x6 similarly individual 2 with a chromosome of 1 101011 means that we have selected x1 x2 x4 x5 and x6 as the features similarly individual 3 and individual 4 are also created as we can see each individual is represented by six binary genes a chromosome comprises of its constituent genes which constitute its separate alleles each positive gene means that the corresponding feature is included in the model next we come to the step of fitness assignment to evaluate the fitness we need to train the predictive model with the training data and then see how well it is doing on them by finding out the error with the selection data the most used method for fitness assignment is known as rank based selection where fitness is defined as kappa multiplied by r of i i going from 1 to n the fitness of i is defined as kappa multiplied by its rank r Here, kappa is a constant called selection selection pressure, and its value is fixed between one and two. Greater selection pressure values will make the fittest individuals to have more probability of recombination. The parameter R is the rank of individual I. Coming back to our example, let us define the rank and fitness for all of the individuals. The ranks one, three, two, and four. will then be multiplied by a factor of kappa which we have taken to be 1.5 and the fitnesses result are 1.5 4.5 3 and 6 we can plot the above fitness values in a pie chart here the area for each individual in the pie is proportional to its fitness this is because the algorithm we'll be considering is called fitness proportional selection or roulette wheel selection individual 1 is assigned the green slice with a fitness of 1.5 individual 2 4.5 individual 3 3 and even an individual 4 6 since individual 4 has the highest fitness it, it occupies the highest amount of space in this pie as you can see the fittest individual is the one who has the biggest area and the least fittest individual has the smallest area third we come to the step of selection now we must select out of this pie The selection operator chooses the individuals that will recombine for the next generation. The number of selected individuals is n by 2, n being the population size. One of the most used selection methods is roulette wheel as we discussed below, also called stochastic sampling with re replacement where stochastic means random. Then the roulette is turned and the individuals are selected at random because the higher fit uh, higher fitness individuals will have a higher probability of the rule wheel selecting it this is why uh, the rule wheel maintains that a fit individual gets selected to the next generation now let us discuss what crossover is crossover is a genetic operator which recombines the selected individuals to generate a new population member this operator picks two individuals at random and combines their features to get four offsprings for the new population until the new population has the same size as the old one we have generated four offsprings from two parents we here see that individual 3 and 4 are taken as parents and offsprings 1 2 3 and 4 are generated next we talk about mutation in order to decide if a feature will be mutated we generate a random number between 0 and 1 which is then compared with the uh, mutation probability if the probability of mutation turns out to be higher than this number then we then we do mutation for example let us take 0.25 as our mutation rate if the random number generated lies between 0 and 0.25 then we will perform the mutation 
the mutation rate is usually chosen to be 1 by m where m is the number of features now let us discuss the algorithm performance the solution of this process is the best individual ever this corresponds to the predictive model with the smallest selection error among all those we have analyzed in our example the best individual is the following and therefore the individual 011101 will have the highest fitness and this fitness will converge up to certain generations and we will stop the ga therefore it must be noted that this solution is not the absolute best solution but the but is just a representation of one of the best solutions which this ga is able to offer so there is compromise in the extent to which this chromosome is the best as well as the speed with which the chromosome is found now let us come to our next topic random forest random forests are basically a collection of number of decision trees which together are used to give the final output a data set is fed to tree 1 through t tree n which are, which are then compiled as votes and the prediction is then laid out random forest or random decision forest are an ensemble learning method for classification regression and other tasks that operate by constructing a multitude of decision trees random forests are substantial modification of bagging that builds a large collection of decorrelated trees and then averages them random forest algorithm can be both for classification and regression problems now let us see how the random forest algorithm works the pseudo code for random forest algorithm can split into two stages random forest creation and random forest prediction now let us see the pseudo codes for these two parts of a random forest for random forest pseudo code the first step is randomly select k features from total m features where k less than m among the k features calculate the node d using the best split point split the node into daughter nodes using this best split repeat 1 to 3 steps until l, l number of nodes has been reached build forest by repeating steps 1 to 4 for n number n num, n number of times for n number of trees random forest prediction pseudo code first take the test features and use the rules of each randomly created decision tree to predict the outcome and store the predicted outcome second we calculate the votes for each predicted target third consider the high voted predicted target as the final prediction from the forest algorithm features of random forest is our next topic out of back samples for each observation zi is equal to xi comma yi construct its random forest predictor by averaging only those trees corresponding to bootstrap samples in which zi did not appear the following graph shows the number of trees versus the misclassification error we can see that this drops as the number of trees increases and as and it then steadies out and the increase in number of trees does not help the output the importance of variables variable importance plots can be constructed for random forest in exactly the same way as they were for gradient boosted models at each split in each tree the improvement in the split criterion is the importance measure attributed to the splitting variable and is accumulated over all trees in the forest separately for each variable random forest also use the oob samples to construct a different variable importance measure apparently to measure the prediction strength of each variable next we come to proximity plots one of the advertised outputs of a random forest is a proximity plot in growing a random forest an encrescent proximity matrix is accumulated for the training data since the mixture data are two dimensional we can map points from the proximity plot to the original coordinates and get a better understanding of what they represent for your example a proximity plot for a random forest classifier is given here finally let us come to random forest algorithms applications there are many sectors in which these algorithms can be applied let us take a look one by one 
First, we come to banking. In the banking sector, random forest algorithm is widely used in two main applications. First is to find loyal customers and second is to find fraudulent customers. Medicine. In medicine field, random forest algorithm is used to identify the correct combination of the components to validate medicines. Next, we come to stock markets. In the stock market, random forest algorithm is used to identify the stock behavior as well as the expected loss or profit by purchasing the particular stock. It is also very common to use uh, random forests in e-commerce applications. The random forest used only in the small segment of the recommendation engine for identifying the likelihood of customer liking the recommended product based on the similar kinds of customers. Thank you for watching this lecture. I hope you enjoyed this video. This, uh, this is the completion of this section. Feel free to contact us for any clarifications on the email IDs listed.